and a very big welcome to Jan's Chats and Reacts. Today, we're going to be looking at T&T UK. I've done a few videos on her in the past, and I'm just working on a new format. So, let's get into it, shall we? Buckle in. We're going to start by looking at her channel. Um, as you can see, she's actually uh, changed the name of it now. It, it used to be T and uh, T and Therapy UK, where she's and she's put like the copyright thing on, as if anyone's going to want to copyright anything that she's got to say. Um, but anyway, we'll <laughs> we'll move on. Um, so I want to have a look at. Uh, this video, I will be interjecting some pieces uh, that I've already uh, spoken on as regards my thoughts on how a therapist should really be seeing or seen rather online. This is her channel and as you can see, it's mainly about having a dig at the royals, and in particular, Meghan and Harry. So here we are. She she struck gold with them. She really did. I firstly looked at this one, but the sound is so poor on it. I don't know whether you now you can find your footage in aerospace accomplishments. A defense chief, however, has hit out after Prince Harry beat history making British astronaut Tim Peake to be a named living legend of aviation for his work flying on army helicopters in Afghanistan. Right. So I'm not going to be talking much about this because um, her sound is very poor on this video. Uh, but basically, she's having a gripe because Prince Harry um, got a acclaimed award uh, for his um, services to aviation. So she had a, an awful lot to say about that. Um, and as you can see by the title, has Prince Harry lied about pilot qualification? And this is a new thing that she's put psychoanalysis uh, in the titles here. So that's quite interesting. That's definitely a new thing by Dr. Ems. Well, I mean, to be honest, she's not even a doctor. So, yeah. Um, so I, I, I might play a little bit more, but her, as I say, her, her volume um, and her audio is really bad in this. It sounds as if she's, she's like in the bottom of my fish tank. So let's go on a little bit more and see what vitriol she can come up with in this one. Oh, you know, ha you know, yes, but don't forget that this happened or don't forget that that happened. And possibly the reason why I haven't spoken about it is two reasons. One, I've forgotten, <laughs> um, which can happen. And two, I've heard about it, but all I've ever seen is it written on Quora, Tumblr, Reddit, etc., Okay, so that's actually a good place to stop because in all my videos, I always question her sources. This lady has very questionable sources um, and she's she's named them all there. She looks at Cora. We all know what Cora's like um, and all these other places where she looks Reddit. Uh, 
it doesn't mean that just because people have written something in one of these or on one of these forums that it's true and i think this is my biggest gripe with her definitely <laughs> Okay, so I've moved on to a different video because the sound in that last one was just awful. And unfortunately, it's not much better in this one. Somebody needs to be, you know, instead of worrying about what she looks like in front of the camera, maybe give your, your subscribers a decent audio because it sounds dreadful even in this one so in this one she's it's part one megan's first pregnancy let's look into it all i have uh written some notes because there was so much that i just with my menopause brain i i knew that i was not going to remember everything okay we didn't really need to know that okay it we just didn't really need to know that. And, and, and there probably are going to be some things that I've forgotten. Um, and, I'm and also, there's going to be a lot of things that you make up, love. Let's be fair. I'm sure you guys will drop in the comments. So I want to start with talking about Archie. Um, and I'm going to start from talking about like when Archie was, let's say, conceived and... <laughs> She's just so damned annoying. And, I mean, she did say, I think I've missed it um, just now. She does say that she studied body language. Well, guess what? So do I. And her body language just screams fraud. And it also screams attention-seeking. Um, you can always tell when she's um saying something that is especially untrue and especially nasty her eyes start darting about all over the place so yeah carry on the pregnancy announcement xyz and if you're new here if you've stuck through this first bit um i'm a certified qualified psychotherapist uh, I have trained in person-centered therapy. I've also done training in NLP and uh, CBT. And I have studied within that body language. Well so done. I look at things and I look at not just what's being said, but what's not being said. I read between the lines and I look at a lot of things and I give you my thoughts and opinions on that. Yeah. So why do you keep getting it wrong then? If you're trained in these things, why are you getting the uh the royals so wrong um i don't know whether she works for uh like the national health service or whether she's freelance i suggest she's probably freelance because i can't be the first person to complain about what she talks about online i can't be I don't believe one word and <laughs> she's not she's not very bright because if we just dissect what she said at the very beginning here where we we're five minutes in and already she said where she gets her information from reddit um which is like a red top newspaper and what was the other one she said oh my god i've forgotten already um but her and and Cora and somewhere else. And to be honest with you, you can't take those um those forums seriously. Those forums are are merely places where people can write a whole load of old rubbish. They can put their own opinion on things on those forums. So for her to be getting her information from there is is foolish i the timeline you know i'm fascinated by timelines <laughs> they met so let's start with this they met in may 2016 they're engaged this woman is so obsessed with harry and megan 
it's amazing to me. But as I've said, and if I if I uh, if I remember, I will put up um, some other clips that I've already done uh, that I've previously done. I really don't want to be going over the same old things. Um, but this woman gives me an awful lot of content in uh, in which to go over. So stick with me, and we will be doing a lot, lot more. But I don't want to be repeating things. Aged by November 2017. They were married by May 2018. Archie was born Mood. Mood. Mu, Get on with it, girl. May 2019. They left, makes it happen, January 2020. And then Lily allegedly was born 2021 see this is what i i get most offended by when she talks on the children she always puts the word allegedly that's disgusting that's disgusting and this is what makes her in my opinion look most unprofessional it's disgusting to speak like that on such a public forum where you've got over 50k subscribers now and all you're doing is harbouring a a, a a hate channel, really. I've seen a lot of her um, comments in the comment section. And one day I'll do a video dedicated to that. And you'll see that the people that are in there talking, you know, uh, leaving their comments are all in agreement with her. And that's disgusting. Um, I have actually tried, I have left comments before, but I think I'm blocked now. Now, I find that quite interesting that there's just been these year, there's, there's, there's been something big every year. And it seems they seem to move quite quickly. Um, well, isn't that what happens in relationships? I mean, the thing that the thing that I find most offensive is that she tries to unpack everything bit by bit and dissect everything and each time she gets it all wrong each time she makes her own or gives her own narrative on it instead of looking at real facts which let's be honest she's never going to get the real facts because she's not a member of the royal family she's not in the royal circle she's getting all her information from crap uh, platforms so each time it's all about her narrative. Something that needs to be addressed also is that as a psychotherapist, she does not have the qualifications to diagnose people. And yet in each of her videos, she diagnoses not only Harry, but also Meghan. She does this to substantiate her twisted narratives.
anything in that. But I just find it quite quite odd that given the nature of their relationship, that they, yeah, that they seem to have moved quite quickly with things. So what's so odd about it? Talking about Archie, and and this is going to be a long video, by the way. So not for uh, me, it's not. So in Harry's book Spare, he states he told his family the news at Eugenie's wedding, which was in October 2018. Right. This was due, and this is his words in his book, to them finding out a few days before. I swear this woman must have such a poor social life. If all she can do is think about Harry and Meghan, how sad is that? So what I've written here is that Harry is expecting us to believe that at the age Meghan was at the time, which you're looking at late 30s, right. so we're looking at a geriatric pregnancy here, which... Geriatric pregnancy. How rude. This woman cannot get <laughs> any more insulting if she tried. It's not a geriatric pregnancy. It's quite common for women to have babies in their 30s. A geriatric pe pregnancy would be at least over 40. And nowadays it's 45, 46. So to call Megan a geriatric pregnancy, again, is a slant. It's just a dig. And that's all that this psychotherapist does throughout every single one of her videos. It's a high-risk pregnancy. Oh, really? So we're expected to believe that Megan, so bearing in mind that she would have been conceived, sorry, she, he, A, and this is on the... Do you know, do you know what I find so astounding with this person is that she's so eaten up with the hatred for these two people that she can't she can't even put her finger on things sometimes she'll just uh, and that's when she gets all the darty eyes because she, she wants to come across as being authentic when in reality she is not authentic she's just a hater there's no other word for her and i want to say that you guys know how i what i think about archie yes yes we do know what you think about Archie and you've got no um, truth. This is all about what you believe. For some reason, she's got a hate boner for Megan. It, it's predominantly Megan. Um, and to accuse a, a mother of not being the mother of a child it's just it's just so very wrong disgusting this is going on the preconceived notion that this is real it is real the way they're telling it to us even though I see she's just not going to believe a word of it I don't believe it is of course you don't but he's expecting us to believe that so she would have would have conceived Archie around July August two thousand eighteen. Right, you're boring me now. It's boring the life out of me. Look, her her eyes are up there. She's trying to re recollect everything. See, with with body language that she knows about. Um. If she was looking at somebody like herself, if she was looking at this, she would be able to as i am see that so much of what she's saying is false she's looking up now because she's wants to pull some of the the things that she's she's made up in her mind so she's going up there thinking right now what was it what was it i was going to say about that what is it it's not based on fact that's the point i'm trying to make what she says is not based on fact, and that's why we get the darty eyes. Nothing she says in her videos is based on fact. It's all supposition, which is based on her hatred for these two people. So right now. Not long after. 
she speaks with very little confidence because what she is saying is nothing more than conjecture and supposition. Her body language confirms this as she often appears uncomfortable with her own words. They were married. Not that that's entirely impossible. We're expected to believe that Megan, who in her own words has never been pregnant before, and I know other people will say that there, there, there's a possibility that she was, and... See? Again. Again. Just dig, dig, dig at Megan. So, yeah, well, you know, there, there's no proof of it. But, you know, I don't believe it. I, I You know, but uh, uh, what a fake woman. There has been some things, which I've done a video on, that has been put out there that makes it seem that she possibly was pregnant at one time. <laughs> this woman, she riles me up. Maybe it's not such a good idea to do the videos like this. Uh, normally, I... I film it and then I, you know, add to it afterwards. But I thought it might be quite nice to, to do it this way. But this woman is so full of hatred. It's difficult for me to, uh, to not show my disdain um, in a rational way. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to, <laughs> um, you know, go too over the top. But, oh, my God. It's painful for me. What we're going to do is quite interesting. You won't be able to see it from here, but it's quite interesting. If you run, uh, if I run the, the cursor like this, I can see all the different expressions and uh, and everything. And it's, it's a real giveaway, especially with her, about what she's actually thinking at the time. Uh, it comes out, body language body language that she herself said that she studied so let's go here because she's eyes are darting all over the place again so let's see what rubbish she's coming out with this time because again with a narcissist the attention has to be on her right this is another thing she repeats over and over and over and over if i had the time i would compile a video with her just saying because she's a narcissist narcissist she's a narcissist and they're both narcissists and they i would do that but do you know what i haven't got the time i haven't got the time for this woman move on so then begs the question why why would she do that to eugenie because it come out that fergie was very angry with them for uh okay i'm being pedantic it didn't it come out no it came out it came out you're meant to be an educated woman speak properly putting out that she was pregnant because it took the attention away from eugenie understandably so this is a bride's wedding day you do not do that. As a woman, you know not to do that. As a man, you might be forgiven for thinking he's a bit thoughtless. Oh but my as God. a woman, you know there are just certain things you do not do. And that to overshine a woman on her wedding day. Oh, my God. Can you imagine living with this? Can you? Is, unex is just one of those things that you just don't do. Yeah, according to you. Okay, you don't know what actually happened. You don't know. So stop giving your judgment on other people's words. That's my point. Do you know, I've done so many different reactions to different people. But nobody winds me up more 
than this woman. I think the main issue for me is that usually when I do reactions, I make them funny so that we can all laugh at silly things in the video. But I can't find anything even remotely amusing about her. The way she speaks, the way she rolls her eyes while she's coming up with more and more crap on another woman. I just cannot, I just cannot do what I normally do with my reactions. And I must admit, I do struggle. I really struggle doing these ones. But I think it's something that needs to be said. I think people need to be aware of exactly what this woman is doing. Family are in, in on this. Now, I'm not saying that they were in on it in the beginning, for example. They have then, say, decided to use a surrogate. Now, oh, my God. Why? So we're back to the surrog the surrogacy um, concept that she's come up with in her head. Another reason why I really dislike this woman with a passion. Um, I have got other videos up about it, so I'm not going to go over and over the same thing because, as I said, I don't want to repeat everything. Um, and I'd like to actually get out more and more of these. And it's going to be difficult because she does tend to just keep uh, regurgitating all the rubbish that she said before. But um, in the completed uh, video that this will be, I will be adding things that I have previously um, added to videos uh, just to show um, exactly what this this psychologist or psychotherapist is and can we can we get this uh, psychotherapist thing out the way and uh, um, she's a counsellor that's what she is she's not a doctor she's a counsellor um, which means you, she could have done all her studying at home. I don't know whether she went to university or not. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that she is a psychotherapist. She is somebody that counsels people. She doesn't have a degree in psychiatric, um, in, that makes her a doctor, basically. So she's obviously inflating her um, qualifications. Um, and I just feel, to be fair, to be honest with you, I feel that that's one of the, there's so many different things that I've got to say about this woman. But I think I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to make this video too long. And I've got other things that I need to add to it. But what I want to say is if you enjoyed this, please uh, come back, look out for, um, look out for my videos. If you are interested in this specific subject, um, I hope that the um, audio isn't too poor. If it is, then I'm going to have to redo it all. But, um, yeah, this is the series that I've been working on for a little while now. So please look back over the other videos I've done. Uh, they're called Therapist. I call it the Therapist Theory. So um, I hope to see you in the next one. And, um you take care of yourselves out there. It's a rotten old world, guys. Bye-bye for now.